Welcome to You're the Solution. My name is Roald Boom, the creator of Bonavista Island Resort. You can find You're the Solution on Facebook. And this video is about a new hydroponic educational center that I've been building. Um, You're the Solution is partnering with Bonaire Duradero, which is Sustainable Bonaire, and Criabon, which is the local farmers co-op. We started to put in some uh, feet for the, the greenhouse structure. It's stuck to this 40-foot cooling container. Here you can see the PVC piping with the concrete that we put in for the footholds so they can hold these beams. The beams are then um, all put up and the structure, the ribs are basically put on for the main structure that will carry the polycarbonate roofing. Here you can see it's almost finished as the main structure and here the ribs are going on to carry the polycarbonate greenhouse sheets. Um, we put some shade cloth up. Uh, just to protect ourselves from the sun and here we see the ribs going in for the deck Greenhouse This will be the main growing area here at the bottom This will be the platform kitchen prepping area and some hydroponic boxes systems maybe some Dutch buckets Two doors at the end one behind me and one you see at the end there some shade cloth we put over while we're working, but it's going to be corrugated. Polycarbonate. Um, I think it's called sunglass or something. Especially for greenhouses. Here's the ribs of the platform. And here's the floor. So those were the ribs and that's basically the greenhouse. Um, here we are moving on and uh, basically now we have to close it up which is putting the shade cloth around it uh, of course the polycarbonate is coming on the roof so we're just putting a shade cloth in here and then here you can see the finished product we have our peacock and he really loved it he thought it was a beautiful new greenhouse so he's really showing his beautiful feathers here and is in agreement with this whole hydroponic right, project all right so this is the new greenhouse uh, we've been building for the last almost two weeks we started from nothing and attached it to this 40 foot container here on the side you can see the door on the left side the greenhouse is in meters this first wooden part the deck here is um 3.2 meters uh, so that's something like 12 feet and then the other part over there is four meters that's a bit more actually it's like 10 feet for the first part 9 to 10 feet and then about 12 feet for the second lower part this upper part is for a little bit of working. We made a, a deck. It's gonna have that working place there with a little bit of um, hand basin. And then it's got this upper part with the wooden deck where we'll use a lot of crack key systems. I'm gonna start installing that a little bit later. And the lower part down here is for the autopod system and maybe some other systems, maybe a bunch of uh, Dutch buckets, maybe. Uh, maybe I'll put some uh, vertical hydroponics in here as well, but for now I'm going to start with two stationary systems, which is non-circulating systems, so I don't need any pump. Um, the container, of course, is 40 feet long. That's the container right there. It's a cool container. And as you can see, the roof right now is still undone. Um, I'm waiting for the polycarbonate sheets to come. Those are going to be that there's no water coming into the system except maybe from the side over there where the rain comes in and i can catch all the water at the end over on that side over the back i'm going to put a rain gutter in the rain gutter will be going back towards uh, some tanks that i got right now i have two 5,000 meter cubic meters of water tanks uh, that's 10 cubic meters but i'm going to have another two or three of those I catch a lot of rainwater, which is perfect for hydroponics. This will be a little kitchen area and um, working bench. I'm gonna put a little um, stainless steel hand basin here, or one of those things for washing up and doing all these things. And over in this side here, I'm gonna put a little wok burner or a gas stove, so I can do uh, some basic cooking and heating up. Um, here you can see the greenhouse on the other side. Uh, there's going to be a little staircase over here. Right now I don't have it yet. 
a little staircase coming down this way so I don't have to step down this large part and over here I got electricity right now I got 220 volts and I got 110 also coming uh, that hose over here this one is for the water from the tap and that one is coming from the rain tanks so I got a little pump back there with that socket and whenever I need clear rain water from the tanks for my hydroponics then I'm going to be using that tap over there so here you can see the view looking from here I got a, I basically got a, a door on the right hand side over there I got a door on the left hand side over there and I've got a door right behind me if I ever want to go this direction I got this door over here to go out we've painted the entire structure it's got 50% sunblock for this this mesh here shade cloth as they call it 50% and the roof the roofing the polycarbonate sheeting that is going to come in soon will have I think it's 35% of sun filtering but it's also got a disbursement in it so you actually got a, an improvement of the um, the light dispersion it's a specialized um, polycarbonate for greenhouses here I'm taking a look from the other side there's a bit of sun coming through here but see if I can get that a little bit out now and never mind I'll just move into this place here there you go that's better so that's the greenhouse auto pot systems will be going in here and crowd key systems will be going in there uh, deep water culture type but non-circulating I, I will have some air pumps in here but just to test out the improvement with air pumps and I will have another closet probably building over build over there and maybe the babies will start over there we'll see I'm gonna start putting stuff in but this is the empty greenhouse ready to go except for the roof but we're ready to start going anyway I don't care much about the roof for now it's probably gonna take about three four weeks before they're coming in but that's the, uh, the new greenhouse this will be an educational center as well um, we'll be giving about two courses each month and um, it's uh, looking good all right so keep following us with this new hydroponic educational center we're going to be posting more videos you're the solution along with um, Bonaire Duradero and Cria Bon Bonaire Duradero is um, funded by the WWF we're going to be part of this food revolution that's coming we're taking away the power find us on Facebook keep following us we are doing the food revolution. You're part of it. We're taking back the power of food into our own hands.